Hey guys, I just want to show you this collection of uh, cigar boxes I've had laying around for, well, a long time. I think I started buying these around 2008, 2009 from thrift stores, um, cigar shops. They just have them laying around and you can actually purchase them. All wooden. This one's got a nice little latch on it. Like a velvety surface on the inside. I like the shape of this one, too, because it's not flat. They put a lot of work into some of these. A lot of really nice uh, artwork in some of them. But I, I just collect them because I like the way they look. And they're kind of useful to, for different things. You want to store some things. Uh, this one I've actually never heard of. But again, it's got some... It's pretty unique. So it's got some uh, nice artwork in here. Hustler series. And then again, I've never heard of these. If you have, let me know. Some of these, these will just slide right out. This is a piece of wood here. Kind of cool. Just slide it back in there. Kind of like this one. I like them all. This one is pretty unique. It's by Gurkha. And it's padded padded on the top, kind of a plastic, smooth uh, case, velvety on the bottom. When I first saw it, it looked like something that was like, I thought it was a makeup case or something, I didn't know, and then I saw a Gurkha, I'm like really? I've never seen a cigar box like that before. Um, this one, again, puffy, nice soft padding on the inside, and velvety, you know, this will cover up the cigars when you get them little warm but again I don't know how old this one is but I started buying these again like 2008 or so pretty unique I've always liked that one too I say I like them but I mean I like them all this one was pretty cool this is by CAO you even got the tag on it still and everything and again I don't know when it's from what year a little bit of that velvety surface on the inside. And it's got a little um, thing right here where you can prop it up. So there's two different points. You can prop it up like that to where it's like straight up. And you can put it down here. Two little notches so it's leaning back like that. Kind of cool. Very clean. Very light. But I like the red... I do like that color. It's nice and straight too. It's not too bad. But very light. I, I just like the I, I do love that color. So. The last one I'm gonna show you. Pretty old. It's a little warped, as you can see. It was a little bit warped when I bought it, and it's only gotten worse over time. Um but check this out. I like I like the how the you know, it has like the curved edges here, the smooth edges. You can look at this right here. And the cool thing about this, all wooden on the inside, but the artwork. It's really nice. This is all still intact. And all this lettering and everything, the trees is raised. Even the, the lady there. <laughs> Very cool artwork. They put a lot into this. This is actually my favorite. I wish it wasn't as warped as it is, but I still like it. And you can see it doesn't close all the way. And a nice latch on it. It used to be able to latch. Of course, not anymore. There's nothing like really flat about this one or straight. It's kind of cool design. Um, so yeah, if you have these, if you like collecting these, let me know. I, I don't do it too much anymore. You can see the date on this of you know these particular cigars but the box itself i'm not sure um again this one i know for a fact i've had since at least 2008 I, that's one of the first ones i bought because it's i saw this on the inside how this is all raised here you know it's raised from this and all the everything else is uh raised like that too it's, it's really nice but you know eventually this is all going to really dry out but uh um, I just thought it was cool. <laughs> That's why I bought it. So yeah, just a few cigar boxes of mine. Um, 
I've collected over many years that I think are really cool and they're useful. I do store things in them and um, let me know uh, if you have any like this. Like I said, these I've never even heard of, but maybe someone else has. Um, so let me know if you do the same. If you go into a cigar shop or something, there's a discount place I go to where they have them stacked up and you, you know, you might be able to buy them from a dollar to four or five dollars. Sometimes they'll take the proceeds from those and donate them to uh, charities, good causes and things like that too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, seems like nothing sometimes. I, I've had them so long. They're just here. Um, I took the contents out because I just like, again, I like store little things in there. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have these and, uh, if you like collecting them, I'm sure there's, there's some people out there that have some way bigger collections. I got a few more, but these are just the, the ones, these are my favorites. I just wanted to show you. All right, guys, uh, take care.